Raindrops fall at a speed of about 30 feet per second, or 20 miles an hour. When a raindrop strikes bare, bare soil, it creates mud that splashed as much as two feet high and five feet away. This is an example of erosion. Erosion is the wearing away and movement of solid material, such as soil, mud, and rock. It's a very powerful natural process caused by the forces of wind, water, ice, gravity, and even living things. Erosion and sediment and water are natural processes, and these can make grand landscapes. However, too much of either can cause problems. Erosion can remove fertile soils from farmland and reduce quality of water. Sediment that erodes from one place is carried away and settles out downstream. This can clog streams with gravel and fill reservoirs with sediment. Erosion can be a big problem in areas where too many trees are cut down, or where poor farming practices leave the ground bare, or where construction exposes bare soils to wind and rain. Planting trees and grasses are ways to slow erosion. Leaves and stems slow the rain as it falls to the ground and plant roots hold soil and rock in place. Many Texas farmers and ranchers have worked to improve farming and grazing practices and reduce the amount of soil and other sediment loss to Texas streams. But excess erosion and sedimentation in Texas waters remains the biggest single pollution problem facing our state's aquatic resources. Now we can often see the close tie between land and water. Texas has 11 major natural physiographic regions. These regions have different types of bedrock, soil, elevation, weather, and plants. These differences and the different ways the land is used in each affect the overall water quality and quantity in the watersheds. Each region has different kinds of habitat for wildlife and opportunities for people. Texas natural physiographic regions can provide very different boating and fishing experiences too. In the pictures here, we see canoeing in East Texas's Caddo Lake. This is on the left. We see paddling in Aransas Bay near Rockport in the center, and kayaking at Prairie Haynes Ranch on the Lampasas River near Colleen. This is on the right. Every stream, lake, or wetland is a reflection of its watershed. The goal of the Clean Water Act is water that is drinkable, swimmable, and fishable. Natural resource agencies, communities, and individuals work together for good water quality and quantity. Knowing our watershed and its relationship to surrounding watersheds can help us conserve our aquatic resources.